Hello, Aries. Welcome to your week ahead. Aries, I already shuffled and laid out your spread, so let's get into your reading. Aries, you have tough it out. So what I'm feeling with this for you is it's like, Aries, some of you have been standing on the sidelines about something and watching something go down or happen, and you just been hanging in there even though you've been getting a beat down from it, or it's just, you know, it's just, it's just not going right. And you're feeling the effects. Okay. Um, for others of you, it's like, there's a need for you to tough something out to, um, pursue something, you know, to fight, to, be a, to a, not fight, but assert yourself, it feels like. And with all this purple here, it's like your third eye, your intuition is telling you this. Um, you may be dealing with the situation that's negative in your life or that you're going through and just something in you intuitively is letting you know that there's something you need to assert yourself with and tough it out because it, something just needs to take place. Something needs to be done. It's not going to be easy, which is why you're reluctant. But something is gnawing at you like you know that you need to just step up and do it and just tough it out. Now, you also have share your divine gifts. So there's something you're able to do or things you're able to do, abilities that you have, skills you have a very special set of skills, Aries, that you can bring to something, a situation, whatever is going on that you're looking at, that you are amongst or in the midst of, um, that you can help shape the situation and um, affect it and work on something where your capability can address, bring solutions, change this thing up and bring some sort of improvement here. It's like, or it will create inspiration and positivity for others um, through your capacity, or maybe that's your capacity, but you have divine gifts that you can share and should be right now. And maybe you're reluctant to because taking that step is a, a responsibility that requires you to tough it out. Okay. I get it, but, um, that is what responsibility is, right? To be able to take care, to be able to do and have that capacity, right? To, to, to step up. Now, you also have the third eye. So again, here's that intuition coming through with the third eye. So this is about having intuition, wisdom, allowing yourself to be guided navigating through the negativities in life, okay? Making sure your compass isn't off, but not ignoring it when it's on either, okay? So your third eye is open and speaking to you here. You got this purple here and this tough it out. And you also have triumphant success. So there's triumphant success here waiting for you. Okay, for you, Aries, but communicate. You're the one that can bring this clarity, this breakthrough that's needed to create this triumphant success for yourself with this situation. And you also have financial and material changes. Okay, so this is concerning money. Perhaps your gifts are about your ability to account for the money or to to create generate money or to replenish the money or to keep track of the money 
Maybe you have accounting skills. Because this is talking about lack or depletion, right? There may be a loss of money or there's some sort of lack in resources. Either you could be experiencing or with who you're dealing with or what this is around. There's some sort of lack here, some sort of setback going on monetarily or within resources. And then you have material harvest. So there is an ability to gain here, to change this. And remember, even though there's some sort of lack, or some changes in the finances or resources, or there's some sort of lack or depletion or setback. Fives also mean change. So it's about what can you do to recover, right? Well, there is an ability to because you have this material harvest, which is the Nine of Pentacles. This is about being resourceful. So this may be your gift as well. Your ability to be resourceful here, to repair this, to rebuild it, to fix it, tough it out, step up, assert yourself where you see that something is failing and you may know the way to improve it because the overall energy that is surrounding you here, Aries, is the queen of swords. And so this may be someone you're dealing with, but as an energy, the queen of swords is a no-nonsense type of person. This is about cutting away what doesn't serve you. This is about having clarity, having a plan, being logical, being able to assert yourself, being able to cut away the nonsense and get to the truth, being able to come up with clear decisions. The Queen of Swords doesn't mince words. The Queen of Swords is focused, speaks the truth, has clarity here. And the Queen of Swords is intuitive. The, the Queen of Swords has gone through a lot and has a lot of experience. You can see through the BS and the nonsense, but also can see the solutions and also can see how to make things better. It's also effective at communicating. So... In the recent past, you have the Four of Swords. You may have taken a step back in the recent past, but even if you did, you were restless about it. You were restless about it. It it wasn't you, it wasn't easy for you to take a step back. Okay, something wasn't put to rest. The Four of Swords. This. Energy, you got the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like for you, Aries, with this Nine of Pentacles, it's like something's gnawing at you to do something, to step up and do something and put something to rest, to go and be resourceful, to practical measures with something that needs to be put to rest or that's or something you see is about to be laid down and put to rest is and going to come to an end. There's something you know. You see that something needs to be dealt with or it's over. And it's gnawing at you. And you know it. It's nine of pentacles. And it could be to do with money or around work or whatever is going on in your environment, your material, physical world. But I feel like something is urging you your intuition, get involved here and share your gifts about what you see happening. In the future, you do have the Empress. I feel like with the Empress here in the future, this is you in the situation, focusing on gaining receptivity of others or you being receptive, but where focusing on the progress the growth of something there's a fetus there in the womb and this red is making me think of the root chakra something that you want to secure that you want to keep safe that you want it to survive that you want to keep grounded you want it to build up you want it to expand and grow you want it to prosper 
And so like this is Aries, you focusing on doing that. On making something prosper, making something grow. Now you could be involved with or dealing with a very prominent, strong feminine energy. Um, that someone that can be like a matriarch, a, a mother, a grandmother. Energy, this is about focusing on the growth, the prosperity. Nurture something and be creative and imaginative to keep it safe, to build it up so it can thrive. Reach its full potential and be born to keep safe. Attitude is the Three of Cups. It is you seeing the capable of getting the cooperation and support needed to make this thing successful. That charisma, you have that ability to get that receptivity, that collaboration. May not be happening. You may be focusing on a particular event, or feeling there may be a need to create more of a celebratory vibe. But you see yourself seeing the situation as the ability of having a way to create more of a coming together here of support. Your concern is the tower. Maybe concern that you are in a sinking. This is out of ship, but it's I'm hearing sinking ship. Like you're in a sinking ship. You're concerned that something is going to fall apart. Thing is, you know, coming undone. Some adversities, some uncomfortable shakeups. There's, there's going to be a disaster. Shit going to be destroyed. You're going to go on with it. Because she's still inside. You're concerned that, you know, if this is others involved, since we do have this Three of Cups here, you'll see that this is going up in flames. You're concerned that you may be the only one to see what's happening here. And nobody else sees what's happening. And everybody else may, feel, may be seeing that everything's going well. You're like, no, this is crazy. This needs to be addressed. The pill is on fire, people. This is going well. Now, whether or not you can make these changes or whether or not changes will happen or whether or not something could happen here. Any dangers or crisis for depression, justice. You could be dealing with the Libra, with the Tower. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Here's your challenge. There's the challenge of doing this thing right. The challenge of consequences. The challenge of balancing this. decisions, making the right choices. And so the Ave of Swords. And so this is challenging energy. Conflict, confrontation. See how to diffuse situation. And so with the Five of Swords, I do feel that this is a confront the situation and see how to diffuse it conflict here because right now looking at the swords ski cat there but nothing is necessarily out of place all the swords are down so there isn't necessarily a dispute or a confrontation or a fight or a problem in communication or in the plan but it could be if it isn't addressed so this is about diffusing the conflict avoiding conflict and it can be avoided if you get rid of the trickery in the BS or the nonsense could ensue if you see the potential of it around 
or around the plan or whoever it involves. Whatever could be jeopardizing could, could jeopardize this situation. And I feel like you see that. How can you confront this? How can you diffuse it? The anxieties, keep the matter secure, maintain the safety around this, and keep the situation, the matter grounded. You do have two cards that came out. The first one is the eight clouds, which is the eight of swords. So your guidance is vulnerable, crisis, abandon, and exposure. So this eight of swords energy. So this is about you being able to navigate. There is problems in a situation. There may be a crisis or where it's vulnerable or there may be something could be being abandoned or where something may need to be exposed. So this is about you being able to patients navigate through limiting you or limiting in the situation. How to move through it or seeing how to avoid finding yourself in this limiting capsized type of a situation by not getting stuck in your head and avoiding people, avoiding the crisis and whatever may need eliminate it, remove it in a timely fashion and expose wherever there's the potential for a problem. Which is the Seven of Swords. So the guidance here is to take a chance, to have hope in the situation, to be stealthy, and to come up with the scheme, the strategy that allows you to have your escape. They allow you to things up and avoid any sabotage or deception. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.